this is Greg Zalfon from SharePoint Maven and in today's video I would like to show you how to set unique permissions, unique security for a folder in SharePoint. Uh, this happens to be a, a quite a common you know, requirement. Uh, you have a SharePoint site, you have a library, a document library with a bunch of folders and there is usually you know, a few documents, you know, maybe a particular folder that you need to hide from everyone uh, on, on a site, on a SharePoint site. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, I want to tell you right away kind of my opinion about this. I'm not a huge fan of uh, creating unique permissions for folders. Um, you know, the reason is it's it's hard enough to maintain security. Um, you know, on SharePoint sites, you have 55 sites, um, you know, with different security or, and, and permissions uh, and different security groups to manage. Uh, and, you know, you, you, once you set unique permissions for a folder, I bet if I ask you tomorrow in a week, you will never remember, you know, which folder, um, you know, has unique permissions. Uh, so it might just lead to confusion down the road uh, if you don't, you know, if you don't, uh, I guess, track it uh, in some sort of manner, uh, right? As, you know, some folders might be visible, some folders might be invisible, and this just might lead to the confusion, uh, confusion among your users. Um, however, I mean, look, there are exceptions to everything in this life. So obviously there are situations when you do need uh, to um, uh, to set unique permissions for a folder or two. And um, that's what, what I would like to show you today. So, um, you know, just to kind of, uh, you know, set the scenario here, I have a department sales department site here and I have a document library. And, you know, within the document library, I have a bunch of folders and one of the folders called management, we need to hide it. All right, let's pretend you know, the whole sales department obviously has access to the whole site, uh, but then we we need to make this management folder only visible to those who are, who are managers, right? Uh, not the whole department. So first, before I do that, before I show you, you uh, how to do this, I mean, let's first see what the security is for this site. So I go to gear icon, uh, site permissions, uh, now, in my case, this happens to be a subsite. Uh, it could be this particular site could be a separate site collection. It could be uh, part of the Office uh, 365 group. In my case, it's a subsite and a site collection. So just make sure that you have unique security for the site that you are not inheriting uh, security from anywhere else. Um, otherwise, it might lead to even more confusion, right? So uh, in my case, I do have unique security for my sales department site. Essentially, I'm the owner. I have uh, John and Mary who are uh, members, and then everyone else happens to be read-only. All right, that's the security I have on the site. Um, and let's now set just, just you know, just so that you know we are starting off uh, from the same page, I guess. Uh, and now let's set unique permissions for this particular folder. Um, so, how do we do that? Uh, it's actually not that hard. Uh, it used to be much, you know, in the classical SharePoint, right, with the classical interface, uh, uh, you know, it, and, 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 and the look and feel, it used to be uh, much more complicated with a bunch of clicks and stuff like that. It's much easier here in the modern document library. So what you need to do is click the checkbox next to the folder you want, um, uh, you know, whose permissions you want to alter. Then you click on the little document information panel in the upper right hand corner. And then you, you click on the manage access um, link over here. And this will show you, essentially, this will show you who has access to this folder. Now, uh, I mean, if you recall, right, I showed you my um, site security just prior to that. I mean, essentially by default, everything on the site, right? Everything on the SharePoint site you know, into, is inherited in terms of security from the site itself. So the document library, whatever else I have on my uh, on my site, the notebook and other web parts, they all inherit security uh, from from the site. Uh, and obviously, you know, this folder, right, inherits security from the library, which in turn inherits security from uh, from the site. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing that I showed you previously, right? Uh, the um, you know, I, uh, it, it shows my name here because I happen to be a site collection admin. And then we have the three groups that you saw previously, the sales owners group, the members group and visitors group. So now what we want to do, we want to essentially alter that. We want to hide this folder from, from the, the, the whole department, but we want to allow a few people, uh, into this folder, obviously, right. 
uh, so at least they ha they still have access. So um, what you can do here, there are a couple of things you can do as you, as you click on the drop down next to each uh, group, you can actually, um, you know, e you have two choices essentially, right? For example, members, uh, if for whatever reason I wanted members to have read only access to my folder, I could actually just do it here, you see? So now members, um, you know, can only view this folder and not even modify it. But what I need to do, I actually need to stop sharing, right? Uh, because I don't want members to even see this folder. So I'm going to stop sharing. Sales members disappear. Uh, I will do the same to sales visitors, right? Because remember, I had everyone in my organization, um, you know, having read only to the site. So no, no, I don't want that. Um, I'm going to, and you can see I can allow edit actually, but no, I'm going to stop sharing as well. So essentially the way it stands right now, only me, uh, only I have access to the site and whoever is part of this sales owners group. Um, let Remember we had John and Mary who were part of the members group, right? So we, right now, John and Mary do not have any access uh, anymore. Well, they do not have access to this folder. It's pretty much invisible. So, but you know what? I'm going to allow John access. Let's pretend John is the manager. Uh, so I'm going to click grant access here. Uh, that's how I invite people back, right? <laughs> I just remove them because I remove the groups, but you know, there are, you know, one or two people uh, who you want to allow, uh, who you want to, to, to invite back, right? Uh, so I'm going to invite John, you know, John right here. And, um, you know, and, you know, obviously John will have he is the manager, so he will have added privileges to this folder. And let's not send an email to John. So now the way it stands, uh, John, as you can see, has added capabilities. All right, so I customized my folder level permissions uh, essentially for this folder now. It has unique permissions and essentially um, other than you know myself, John also has access. So now let's check, let's check what we just did. I'm going to go to another browser and I happen to be logged in as Mary here, you see? So I'm logged in as Mary, and Mary happens to go, uh, you know, if we go to the same site, sales site, and let's click on the document library. Now, when I click on a document library within the sales site, I should, Mary should not be able to see the folder now, uh, for whatever reason, it's uh, loading a little bit slow. So here we go, finally. Um, now, if I click on the documents library, look at this, the Mary only sees four out of five folders, the management folder that I used to, um, you know, that, that I still have, uh, Mary does not see it, why? Because uh, we essentially uh, removed Mary from being able to access uh, this particular folder. And once, if you don't have access, it's pretty much invisible. There is no way Mary can get to it, uh, unless obviously I invite her back, so. Um, if I go here, once again, this is the original, right? This is how it looks like by default, um, right? And wh whoever has management, you know, I guess uh, site owner or management access. And then over here, Mary screen uh, does not show the folder because I pretty much, I hid it from Mary, okay? All right, so now, you know, before I, I, um, uh, before I uh, finish this, um, remember how in the beginning of the video I said uh, that I'm not a huge fan of creating the folder level permission. So what would be the alternative? The alternative that I always suggest is, you know, every time, every time I hear unique permissions, I always recommend that you, you create a separate site. Uh, what my recommendation would be uh, is essentially to create a separate uh, site for management uh, and allow them to store the documents on there. Uh, now, obviously, if it's just one folder, uh, it probably doesn't make sense uh, to, to create a whole separate site just for that, you know, with a, with a few documents underneath, right? Uh, however, you know, with the site approach, uh, the reason I'm kind of inclined towards the site approach is because when you provision a whole site, it's kind of, you know, you, you create it and forget it kind of thing, right? You So you create a, new, a separate site for management only, and um, you know, create permissions, and then everything you dump in that site and that on the document library on that site, you no longer need to set unique permissions um, because you see. I mean, let's say, uh, let's say, you know, we just hit the management folder. Let's say, well, now you have a request. We also need to hide this folder or this folder. Well, now you once again, you now you need to go back, break inheritance, create unique permissions. Uh, it's a lot of work for you, and it's probably something you are not going to remember. 
uh, that you did um, yesterday, all right? Uh, with the site, it's nice and easy. Uh, you create a new site for management only. Uh, you create whatever permissions you need to create and everything you dump in there will will essentially, you know, uh, honor the, the security of that particular site. All right. So hopefully uh, you found this video useful. Um, I appreciate your time and attention. Uh, and um, I um, welcome you to visit my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Uh, and also hope to see you in future on my YouTube channel as well. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.